to remove the tie rod end, 17mm spanner on the top nut, loosen the nut, take it all the way off, next you take a 19 spanner, 24 spanner, secure the steering arm with a 24, 19 and loosen the nut. Next you use a hammer, lock that off the paper and untwist. Remove the bent tie rod end out of the steering arm. Take your 19mm spanner again, get on the nut and remove the nut from the bent tie rod end. Now that can be quite stiff, especially when the tie rod end bends like so. You can get your spanner on there and remove. Now pick up your new tie rod end, remove the nut off the top, remove the protective sleeve, the boot protector, and the nut you've just removed, install on the new tie rod end. Take the new tie rod end, screw it back into the steering arm. Now the key is to get it as close to wheel alignment as possible, measure the distance between here and the face and that will give you a relatively accurate uh, position to put your tie rod in. You can take your tie rod in once you've installed it, put it back in the taper by pushing it up through the taper. Once it's up, take your new nut here and install it using your 17 mm spanner. Now if you're having issues where the nut is turning the central section of the ball joint on the taper, take a decent sized pry bar, located underneath the ball joint and apply upward pressure. While you're applying upward pressure, use your spanner and tighten your nut.